Getting money in the hood, straight drop. You can get it if it's good, straight drop. Gang, gang, no sugar, straight drop. Straight drop. This that straight drop. Yeah, I'm back. Get the strap. I think I'm 50 cents. Glock 40 with the dick. That's that extended clip. King step a side stepper. Yeah, CYC. Been stepping before stepping was the Shiai. If I'm ever in your section, then it's DIE. Applying pressure. Bet these niggas gon' remember me. Ocean views, world news, blowing killer cap. Counting racks, talking to my plug in the f. Getting money. Slum 1200. GGI mob shit. And tonight we gonna talk about Shitty, aka Ghost, off Willow Street out the 12 wall. So um, I'm gonna read y'all um, the stuff that happened between him and a guy, um, Mike out the Melp, Long Live Mike. So allegedly they were supposed to be then um, ran down on nigga out the um, Melf and time clock cross. Did they thing or whatever? So the article read: New Orleans AP, a suspect was shot by police, and two others were arrested after a chase that began in Jefferson Parish and ended in the uptown neighborhood of New Orleans. The t the chase started in Gretna as deputies began following a vehicle with three suspects wanted in connection with a murder Tuesday in Terror Town. When a pursuit reached the circle near the New Orleans Central Business District. Police say Jefferson Parish deputies lost sight of the vehicle and called for help, and the Wardens police continued to chase into the city's university area. The suspects lost control of the car, crashed and fled the vehicle. Police say one of the suspects brandished a 9mm and two police officers fired before the man got off his shot, striking a shooter in the abdomen three times. Bullets also grazed the man in the head and back. The suspects who were shot was identified as 19-year-old Barbara Hall a.k.a. Le Blabber, 23-year-old Sean Lee, and 25-year-old Jared Dixon. You know what I'm saying? Sean Lee, that shitty, a.k.a. Ghost. Jared is slim dummy, you know what I'm saying? He doing two life sentences right now in Atlanta, GA. So, the article goes on to read, and found them hiding under a nearby house. They were taken into custody. All three suspects were booked with resisting arrest and a... T and attempt murder of a police officer, but officers say more charges are pending. So, you know, they wind up going to jail on this situation right here and doing like, um, I won't say shit had and done like 13 off that. You know what I'm saying? And I think LeBlabber had been down since too. I ain't quite sure, but um, I know Jerry had came home, or Slim Dummy had came home off the shit and um, he got caught up out there in ATL on some shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't really too much know about that situation, but you know, you know, shit happens. But, um, you know, long live shitty though, you know what I'm saying? And long live Mikey out the mouth, you did, but, you know, he hadn't came home or whatever, you know what I'm saying? He had been down for a while, and he came home, shit, and you know, was doing this thing out here or whatever, and, I can't really say what really happened between him and a little female, you know what I'm saying? I just know that she was with him, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to read y'all the article, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, all this public record, so I'm just reading y'all what was said from the news, you know what I'm saying? So it says, New Orleans woman booked with murder and shooting at Metairie Motel. A New Orleans woman has been arrested in a connection with a fatal shooting at the corner Inn in Metairie Tuesday. Joshua Phillips, 20, was booked with second-degree murder after being taken into custody within minutes of the shooting. Captain, Captain Jason Rivard, a Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office spokesperson, the coroner's office identified the victim as Sean Lee, 38 of New Orleans. The shooting occurred just before 4 p.m. at the Laquinta Inn in the 5900 block of Veterans Memorial Boulevard. Deputies found Lee dead in the parking lot, Rivard said. Phillips was arrested about a block away while trying to leave the area, as authorities said. She was found with a small rifle. Investigators did not disclose how Phillips and Lee knew one another, but detectives suspect she was the person who fatally shot him, Revar said. Phillips was being held Thursday at the Jefferson Parish Correctional Center in lieu of 500,000 bond. She appeared in magistrate court via video conference Thursday morning to be arraigned in a separate, unrelated case, according to the court records. Philip pleaded not guilty to a battery of police 
All of a sudden, two counts of resisting arrest by force. No other details were available about the incident, which occurred in October. Just about an hour ago, we know that one man is dead and a woman is in custody following a homicide that happened just before four o'clock this afternoon. Now, this is still an active scene here at the La Quinta in Metairie. And according to Sheriff Lapinto, deputies responded to shots of gunfire just before four o'clock and it appears the man was shot multiple times and died in the parking lot. This La Quinta is right behind a Denny's and I spoke with a few employees inside who said they heard three to five gunshots. They said they then saw a woman out the window walking away with a gun. And according to Sheriff Lapinto, deputies believe the victim was with that woman who killed him. She was detained about a block away with the gun deputies say she used. And I spoke with someone who saw her walking with that gun under her sweatshirt when three or four cop cars pulled up. The Witness told me deputies got out of their cars, guns drawn, and the woman dropped her weapon and was taken into custody. Here's Sheriff Lapinto. Our deputies were here on the scene pretty uh, quickly. Uh, while I identified to the female that was walking away, and we actually were able to detain her uh, probably about a block west of here uh, with, with the firearm that she used in, in this um, homicide at this point in time. So she's in custody out of Detective Bureau. I do not have the relationship. That's how the shit ended, you know what I'm saying? He wind up, you know what I'm saying, hooking up with a female or whatever. And allegedly, you know what I'm saying, he had like three ratchets in the car, you feel me? And I don't know what they was, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if they were smoking mojo or whatever, but they say she already had like mental mental health issues, you know what I'm saying? So I'm assuming she just, you know what I'm saying, probably grabbed a banger or whatever, grabbed a Draco and, you know, went to hitting at him, you feel me? And the shit probably really messed him up like, damn, man, this was tripping, you feel what I'm saying? But, you know. She wound up hitting him, I think, like once or twice in the head, you feel me? And he died out there in the parking lot on Veterans by the La Quinta Inn, right by the Denny's, you know what I'm saying? That shit really was like crazy, 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 the whole situation, you know what I'm saying? But if, but if you know, if you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Nigga know how he was getting down out here, you feel me? That bitch name rung a bell, so, you know what I'm saying? It just was the way he went out, like, you feel me? By a female, you know what I'm saying? Who really ain't even have it all, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Then she was young, you feel me? Like 20 years old. You know what I'm saying? That's somebody you really ain't even supposed to even be around like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, she ain't much on a nigga level mentally, period. You feel me? Like, but hey, you dig? Long live shitty, man. You dig? And like I say, long live Mikey out the mouth. You know what I'm saying? But that was a hard one, you feel me? Like, because nigga couldn't make no sense of this shit at all. Like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Nigga went out like that. Like, you know. That shit, that was ill. You dig? Yeah, man, nigga went out like that. It wasn't even a nigga out here on the street, you feel me? It was the it was a person that nigga, the last the last person the nigga expected to do the shit done the shit, you feel me? A female. Shit crazy out here, man. Time ain't waiting for nobody. And life short as a mug. You hear me? For a nigga to be out here too short for a nigga to be out here bullshit. Playing around. You hear me? Thinking about another nigga wasting your energy on motherfuckers. Shit, nigga gotta put that shit into something else. Something positive, you dig? Something that's gonna benefit you and your family. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, to each his own, man. Long live all the falling. Slum 1200 GGI mob shit. Y'all stay plugged, man. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Get in that comment section, you know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button. And stay plugged. Niggas dying for the bucks and the glory. True story. Trying to make a meal before they see 30. True story. Gotta get it. Living life in a hurry.